Welcome to the extraordinary world of Andorra, a tiny principality nestled in the Pyrenees Mountains. Prepare to embark on a journey unlike any other as we explore 24 fascinating and unusual facts that define the rich tapestry of Andorran culture. Be sure to watch to the end, as the facts will shock you. Prohibition of Whispering Have you ever wondered about the power of a whisper in a world overwhelmed by the noise of constant communication? In a digital age where privacy is becoming increasingly rare and secrets are becoming a commodity, the desire for true privacy is growing stronger. What if whispering, usually seen as a means of concealment, became a bold declaration of trust and transparency? Imagine a society in which this subtle act resonates deeply with communal ethics, eliciting a response from those who yearn for a return to authenticity in our interactions. In the heart of the Pyrenees, in Andorra, such traditions are cherished. Contrary to expectations, Andorans see whispering not as a means of concealing information, but as a public acknowledgement of trust and openness. Whispering in Andorra goes beyond mere soft-spoken conversation. It is an art form, a cultural expression of trust and mutual respect. This tradition dates back to ancient times, when Andorans believed that whispering in the ear bound the whisperer and the listener by a contract of shared secrets and solidarity. It is a social norm that emphasizes the value of personal connections and honesty, setting a profound example of how trust can manifest itself. In Andorra, for example, whispering in public places evokes not suspicion, but admiration for the strength of the bonds it symbolizes. This unique approach offers a refreshing perspective on communication and privacy, providing a beacon of hope for those seeking more meaningful and sincere relationships in their lives. In a world often dominated by the loudest voices, Andorra's reverence for whispers reminds us of the power of quiet confidence and the beauty of shared secrets that are openly celebrated. But Andorans have one secret they want to share with you. It's health insurance from Ecta traveling at the link in the pinned comment. Hurry up and get the insurance at a 37% discount. And we move on to the next fact. Counterclockwise clock. In our fast-paced world, where every ticking clock encourages us to hurry, have you ever wished time would slow down, maybe even run backwards? The inexorable march of time often leads to stress and a sense of rushing through life, missing the moments that really matter. Imagine a place where the concept of time invites contemplation rather than haste, where the community collectively decides to look at time from a completely different perspective, hoping to resonate with those who yearn for a life less dictated by the usual constraints of hours and minutes. Nestled amongst the majestic Pyrenees, the Principality of Andorra embodies this unconventional wisdom in its unique tradition of winding the clock with a time clock. This conscious choice is not just a quirky challenge to standard timekeeping, but a profound statement about the pace of life and the values of society. By reversing the movement of the hands of the clock, the Andorans invite residents and visitors to rethink their relationship to time, encouraging mindfulness, reflection, and a greater awareness of the present moment. This practice is a reminder that time, like life itself, is a matter of perspective and that stepping out of the global rush can open up new ways of perceiving our existence. Andorra's counterclockwise clock serves as a symbol of the country's desire for a more thoughtful and measured approach to life. This rethinking of time fosters an atmosphere in which people are more likely to pause, breathe, and deeply immerse themselves in the world around them and in each other. For those who feel overwhelmed by the constant demands of modern life, Andorra's unique sense of time offers a compelling alternative, a world where the passage of time is a journey towards mindfulness, rather than a race inviting us to find peace and balance in the simple turning of the hands of a clock. National Day of Silence Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the constant noise of the digital age and longed for even a moment of silence? Imagine a society that not only understands this need, but also institutionalizes it as a day of collective silence that resonates deeply with our innate desire for peace and introspection. Andorra has a unique tradition, the Day of Silence, where for 24 hours, complete silence is observed throughout the country. This is not just silence. It is a profound cultural practice aimed at promoting reflection, mental health, and deepening a sense of community through shared stillness. Schools, Businesses and government agencies participate in the action, transforming the entire country into a sanctuary of stillness. This day of silence serves as a vivid reminder of the power of silence in reconnecting with ourselves and each other. 
In a world that never seems to pause, the day of silence in Andorra serves as a testament to the beauty and necessity of silence in our lives, offering a serene escape and a moment to breathe deeply together. Reverse Entry Tradition Have you ever thought of a greeting that defies convention and turns a simple visit into an unforgettable moment? In a world where first impressions are everything, imagine a tradition that challenges norms by inviting curiosity and a sense of playfulness right from the doorstep. In Andorra, entering someone's home for the first time by walking backwards is not just a quirky custom, it's a gesture of respect and trust. The practice is rooted in ancient beliefs that walking backwards into a new space protects both guest and host from bad luck and symbolizes the guest's willingness to step into the unknown with an open heart. This unique form of entry not only breaks the ice, but also creates a deeper connection between host and guest, infusing the visit with a sense of ritual and mutual respect. It's a reminder that sometimes looking back can create a richer, more meaningful path to new experiences and relationships. Underground Library Cafe In an age dominated by digital media, hidden material treasures are becoming increasingly fascinating. Can you imagine a secret sanctuary of knowledge hidden beneath the bustling life of a quaint cafe, waiting to be discovered by the thrill-seekers? Andorra has just such a corner, a secret underground library, a labyrinth of literary riches accessible only through a hidden lift in an unsuspecting cafe. This hidden gem is steeped in history and mystery, offering bibliophiles an exclusive sanctuary. Here, ancient manuscripts and rare editions lie on shelves, protected from time in their underground sanctuary. This secret library is a testament to Andorra's deep love of culture and history, inviting those with a keen sense of adventure and a love of books to immerse themselves in a world apart from the ordinary. It embodies the belief that some treasures are worth seeking promising a journey not only into the depths, but also into the vast expanse of human knowledge and imagination. Snow Sculpture Competition In a world where sport often involves physical prowess and speed, have you ever thought of a competition where creativity and harmony with nature take center stage? Imagine a sport that combines the beauty of art with the spirit of competition against a backdrop of pristine snow. In Andorra, the national sport is breaking traditional boundaries to become a competitive snow sculpture. Artists and athletes come from all over the world, carving intricate patterns into the snow, turning the landscape into a fleeting gallery of frozen art. Hosted by renowned international artists, these competitions celebrate skill, imagination, and ecological harmony, showcasing masterpieces that exist only until the next snowfall. This unique sporting event not only highlights Andorra's rich cultural tapestry and its reverent relationship with nature, but also brings communities together in a celebration of creativity and temporary beauty. It is a vivid reminder that art and sport can come together in extraordinary ways, capturing the ephemeral magic of the moment and the universal language of beauty. Lucky Hat Belief In a world overflowing with superstitions and traditions aimed at attracting good luck, how often do we stumble upon those that challenge our everyday norms? Imagine a custom that not only defies common etiquette, but promises to bring good luck, creating a cultural curio that intrigues and fascinates. The people of Andorra hold the unique belief that wearing hats indoors is not just acceptable, but is a harbinger of good fortune. This tradition dates back to ancient times and is based on the belief that hats not only protect against the elements, but also attract positive energy and good luck to those under their brim. In homes, offices, and even churches, it is common to see people wearing hats as a sign of inviting good fortune into their lives and spaces. This peculiar custom weaves a sense of whimsy and optimism into the fabric of Andorran society, forcing visitors and locals alike to reconsider the boundaries of luck and tradition. By adopting this custom, Andorans remind us that sometimes the key to good luck lies not in grand gestures, but in the simple act of wearing a hat indoors, combining faith, culture, and a touch of defiance of the ordinary. Shoe Exchange Festival in an age where empathy often takes a backseat to individual ambition and digital isolation, have we lost touch with the simple act of walking a mile in someone else's shoes? Imagine a tradition designed to literally and metaphorically encourage us to understand each other's journey, fostering deeper community cohesion. Andorra hosts a wonderful annual festival based on the spirit of empathy and shared experience, the Shoe Sharing Festival. During this event, participants gather to exchange shoes with someone else, committing to wear them for an entire day. 
This practice symbolizes the act of entering someone else's life, acknowledging different paths and perspectives. It is a festival that goes beyond mere novelty and aims to foster a deep sense of empathy, understanding, and unity among its participants. Through this unique festival, Andorans promote the value of empathy in building a cohesive society. It is a vivid reminder that mutual understanding and compassion can be fostered through the simplest gesture, the exchange of shoes. In doing so, they invite us to reflect on the power of perspective and the importance of walking together, literally and figuratively, towards a more empathetic world. Whistle language. In our globalized world, where languages are constantly mixing and changing, can there still be a way of communicating that is so unique that it goes beyond spoken language? Imagine a language that relies not on letters and syllables, but on the melodic sounds of whistling connecting people in a way that defies traditional linguistics. In the valleys of Andorra, there is an amazing linguistic phenomenon, a whistling language known only to a select few. This form of communication utilizes the natural acoustics of the mountain landscape, allowing messages to travel great distances. This whistling language is not just a curiosity, but the embodiment of the ingenuity of human communication, adapted to the difficulties and beauties of Andorran nature. It is a testament to the adaptability and creativity of cultures to preserve their heritage and maintain communication in the most unfavorable conditions. This unique aspect of Andorran culture not only emphasizes the diversity of human expression, but also reminds us of the deep bonds that can form when people adapt in harmony with their environment. The Andorran whistle language is a beautiful ode to the human spirit's capacity for innovation, a melodious reminder of our ability to communicate and connect in endlessly inventive ways. Practicing Lunar Gardening In an age where technology often dictates our schedules and interactions with the natural world, have we lost touch with the ancient rhythms that once guided our ancestors? Imagine a community that not only honors these cycles, but integrates them into the very essence of daily life, particularly in caring for the land. The people of Andorra follow a practice deeply rooted in tradition and attuned to the natural world, lunar gardening. This agricultural technique aligns planting, tending, and harvesting with the phases of the moon, reflecting a belief in the lunar influence on plant growth and vitality. Lunar gardening is not just a method, but an entire philosophy that respects the symbiotic relationship between the celestial and the earthly. Andorians who follow this practice believe that sowing and tending in harmony with the cycles of the moon yields healthier plants and more abundant harvests, echoing ancient wisdom in modern times. Through lunar gardening, the Andorans demonstrate a compelling example of how ancient practices can bring benefit and understanding, even in a modern context. This approach not only fosters a deeper connection to the environment, but also serves as a reminder of the enduring importance of celestial cycles in our lives. In Andorra, the rhythm of the moon is a dance that guides the hands that tend the earth and testifies to the enduring interaction between humanity and nature. Taboos of Midday Birthdays In our modern world, where time zones are blurring and celebrations can last hours or even days, how meaningful can the timing of an event be? Imagine a tradition that places great importance on the timing of celebrations, especially those that mark personal milestones, hinting at a deeper connection between time and destiny. In Andorra, birthday celebrations are surrounded by a surprising taboo. It is believed that to celebrate this personal holiday before noon is to bring misfortune upon oneself in the coming year. This belief is not just superstition, but a reflection of a cultural reverence for the passage of time and its influence on our lives. This practice encourages a mindful approach to celebration, emphasizing that patience and timing are not just virtues, but essential ingredients for prosperity and good fortune. Waiting for the sun to reach its zenith before beginning a birthday celebration is considered aligning oneself with the most favorable energies of the day. This unique Andorran taboo serves as a reminder of the different ways cultures harmonize with the forces of nature and fate. By choosing to celebrate birthdays only after noon, Andorans weave a sense of anticipation and respect into the fabric of their celebrations, fostering a deeper appreciation of the moment of celebration. This practice makes us think about how we mark significant moments in our lives, and suggests that sometimes waiting for the right moment can bring its own form of good fortune and joy. Sacred Pyrenean Ibex In a world where animals are often seen only as creatures to be observed or used, can we find a place where they have a deeper, almost mystical significance in the structure of society? 
Imagine a culture that not only respects but also honors its native fauna, integrating it into the core of its mythology and identity. The Pyrenean ibex, a majestic animal found in the mountainous regions of Andorra, is not only a national animal, but is also endowed with sacred status. Revered in numerous myths, this creature symbolizes strength, resilience, and freedom, qualities that are highly valued by the Andorran people. In tales passed down from generation to generation, the goat often appears as the guardian of the mountains, the guide of lost souls, and the bearer of wisdom. The veneration of this animal emphasizes a deep connection to the natural world and points to a culture that considers itself part of a larger ecological and spiritual system. The sacred status of the Pyrenean ibex in Andorra is an example of how animals can shape national identity and cultural beliefs. This veneration serves as a reminder of the importance of respecting and protecting the natural world. It is a testament to the belief that animals are not just inhabitants of our world, but an integral part of our myths, legends, and collective consciousness, providing insight into the values and aspirations of society. Tradition of Ice Messaging In this age of instantaneous digital communication, where messages circle the globe in milliseconds, can there be a way of communicating messages that takes into account the fleeting nature of time and the elements themselves? Imagine a form of communication that doesn't so much defy time and physical constraints as fully embrace them, turning each message into a moment to be treasured. The people of Andorra cultivate such a method, ice messages. This traditional form of communication involves applying messages to the surface of ice, creating a fleeting canvas that demands immediate attention. These ice messages, carved with care and urgency, must be read before they succumb to the warmth of the sun and disappear. This practice is not only a testament to the creativity and adaptability of the Andorran people, but also a poignant reminder of the impermanence of words and the importance of the here and now. It reflects a deep respect for natural cycles and an appreciation of the beauty of temporality. Ice Message in Andorra offers a unique perspective on communication, emphasizing the value of the moment and the ephemeral nature of existence. It forces us to reflect on how we communicate our thoughts and feelings, Encouraging a more considered and sincere approach to messaging. In a world where permanence is often the goal, Andorra's chilling messages remind us of the beauty of impermanence, encouraging us to appreciate and take action before our messages fade away, reflecting mystical lake. In a world where introspection and self-awareness are often overshadowed by external approval and the pursuit of material success, could there be a place that offers a mirror to our inner selves? Imagine a mystical body of water nestled in the serene landscape of Andorra that can reflect not only the exterior, but also the true essence of those who gaze upon its surface. Andorra has such a wonder, a mystical lake hidden amongst the mountainous terrain that is said to reveal the true soul of anyone who dares to look into its waters. This lake, steeped in legend and surrounded by an aura of tranquility, serves as a spiritual refuge for those seeking understanding and clarity. It is believed that the mirror-like surface of the lake does not simply reflect the person, but allows one to look into the depths of their character, aspirations, and hidden truths, providing a moment of profound self-realization and introspection. This mystical lake bears witness to Andorra's rich tapestry of myths and spiritual beliefs, offering a unique space for reflection in a literal and metaphorical sense. It invites people to encounter their true self away from the noise and distractions of everyday life. In a world hungry for authenticity and self-discovery, Andorra's mystical lake reminds us of the importance of looking inside ourselves, forcing us to seek and accept the truths that lie beneath the surface. Winter Flowering Valley In a reality where the seasons dictate the rhythm of life and landscapes, can there be a place untouched by the cold grip of winter? A hidden sanctuary where the cycle of growth and blooming is not subject to natural norms? Imagine a valley, secluded and untouched where the warmth of ancient spirits ensures that flowers continue to bloom even under a blanket of snow. In the embrace of Andorra's rugged mountains lies such a miracle, a hidden valley, told in tales and legends, where flowers bloom brightly in the cold of winter. This miraculous phenomenon is attributed to the blessing of ancient spirits, the guardians of the valley, who fill the land with warmth and vitality. The locals and the few people who have witnessed the spectacle speak of it with the reverence inherent in the most sacred mysteries, considering the eternal blossom a symbol of hope and resilience in the face of adversity. 
The existence of this enchanted valley emphasizes Andorra's deep connection with myth and nature, reminding us of the wonders that lie beyond what we know. It serves as a metaphor for the human spirit's ability to thrive even in the harshest conditions, inspired by faith in the invisible forces that guide and protect us. In a world often marked by gloom and monotony, the hidden valley of perpetual bloom serves as a beacon of the miraculous, urging us to seek out and cherish the pockets of magic that surround us. Forest Meditation Poem In our relentless quest for peace amidst the chaos of modern life, how often do we overlook the healing synergy of nature and the spoken word? Imagine a practice that combines the tranquility of a nature walk with the rhythmic beauty of poetry, offering a path to inner peace and mindfulness. In the heart of Andorra's verdant landscapes, there is such a meditative practice. It involves reciting poetry while wandering through dense, whispering forests, a ritual that harmonizes the soul with the natural world. This form of meditation is not just a walk in the woods or silent poetry recitation. It is an immersive experience that engages the senses, intellect, and spirit. It is believed that reciting poetry among ancient trees enhances the healing and restorative power of the words and the environment, creating a deep sense of connection and peace. This unique meditative practice reflects Andorra's deep attachment to literature and the natural world, embodying a holistic approach to wellness that goes beyond traditional methods. It reminds us of the simple yet profound ways in which we can find tranquility and rejuvenation. Through the fusion of poetic expression and nature, the Andorans create a space where the mind can roam freely and the soul can find peace, inviting us to explore the landscapes of both the outside world and our inner selves. Midnight Dish of Flowers In a culinary world that increasingly strives for uniqueness and authenticity, how captivating is the idea of a dish so rare that it is defined not only by its ingredients, but also by the very moment of its appearance. Imagine a cuisine that includes a delicacy derived from flowers that only reveal their beauty under the cover of midnight, offering a taste of the ephemeral and exquisite. Andorra holds such a culinary treasure, a rare dish created from the elusive midnight flowers. This delicacy is not just a meal, it is an experience, a celebration of the fleeting moments that nature gives us. These flowers, which only open their petals at 12 o'clock, are believed to have a fragrance as mysterious and deep as the night itself. Preparing this dish is a ritual to be looked forward to and revered, capturing in every bite the essence of time and the magic of the night world. This unusual component of Andorran cuisine speaks of the country's deep appreciation for the gifts of nature and the beauty of moments that pass all too quickly. It reminds us of the wonders that await those who are willing to seek them out, even in the quietest hours of the night. With this unique culinary tradition, the Andorans invite us to taste the rare, the ephemeral and the irreplaceable, enriching our lives with flavors that are as fleeting as they are unforgettable. Festival of Invisible Art in an era dominated by visual stimuli, where art is relentlessly displayed, criticized and consumed through screens, can we rediscover the power of imagination to create invisible worlds? Imagine an art festival that challenges the conventional, where beauty lies not in what is seen, but in what can be imagined. Andorra presents just such a paradoxical celebration, the Invisible Art Festival. At this unique event, works of art are described in vivid detail by their creators, but remain hidden from view. Viewers are invited to mentally visualize these works, interacting with the art in a purely imaginary space. This festival advocates the idea that the boundaries of art extend far beyond the canvas, into the infinite realms of human perception and creativity. It is a testament to the power of storytelling and description when the invisible becomes a canvas for individual interpretation and emotional resonance. The Invisible Art Festival is a bold statement about the essence of art and its impact on the observer. It serves as a reminder that the true power of art lies not only in its physical manifestation, but also in its ability to inspire, evoke, and transform in the space of the mind. Through this innovative celebration, Andorra invites us to explore the invisible, to engage with art in a way that revitalizes our powers of imagination, proving that sometimes what we cannot see holds the deepest beauty. Impolite Sign for Andorians In an increasingly individualistic world, where meals are often eaten in a hurry or alone, can the act of sharing a meal still serve as a bridge between cultures and people, a gesture of unity and openness? Imagine a society where the invitation to share a meal is a deeply rooted tradition that epitomizes hospitality and human connection. 
In Andorra, community spirit thrives on the simple but profound act of sharing a meal together. Here it is considered not just polite, but a moral imperative to accept an offer to share a meal, even from a stranger. This practice is rooted in the Andorran ethos of community and generosity, reflecting a belief in the power of food to break down barriers and strengthen bonds. Refusal of such an offer is not simply seen as a refusal of food, but as a refusal of an opportunity to build connection and mutual respect. This tradition emphasizes the value of hospitality and shared human experience, elevating the act of eating from a necessity to a celebration. The Andorran custom of sharing a meal demonstrates how everyday actions can foster kinship and understanding between different people. It is a reminder of the fundamental role that food plays in our social fabric, not only as a means of sustenance, but also as a means of communication and cultural exchange. By adhering to this tradition, Andorans defend the idea that to share a meal is to open the door to dialogue, friendship, and a deeper awareness of our common humanity, offering a model of inclusivity and warmth in a world that often seems divided. The Secret Meaning of Dreams for Andorians In an age where science and technology offer us accurate predictions and data at our fingertips, can there still be room for intuition and the mysteries of the subconscious to guide us? Imagine a culture that values whispered dreams as harbingers of the future, particularly the capricious moods of nature. The people of Andorra hold a peculiar belief that dreams have the ability to predict the weather, an ancient wisdom that intertwines the realms of sleep and meteorology. Before important events, it is customary to consult dream interpreters, not just as a sign of respect for tradition, but as a respected practice. These interpreters, skilled in deciphering the mysterious language of dreams, provide the information on which decisions are made, from planning agricultural work to scheduling holidays. This reliance on dreams highlights a deep respect for the unseen and intuitive, recognizing that not all knowledge comes from the material. In Andorra, this fusion of dream interpretation and weather prediction serves as a testament to the enduring human fascination with the unknown and the unseen forces that shape our lives. It challenges contemporary detachment from the natural world and our inner world inviting a reassessment of the wisdom that lies beyond the reach of tools and algorithms. By embracing this practice, Andorians remind us of the value of intuition in the unseen, offering a perspective that enriches our understanding of the world and our place in it. Cartographers are magicians. In a world of ever more maps and knowledge, where every inch of the Earth's surface can be seen with the click of a mouse, is there still room for the unexplored and imagined? Imagine a society that values not only the geographical, but also the imaginative and creative, mapping not where we are, but where we could be. Andorra is home to a mysterious group, a secret society of cartographers. These masters dedicate their craft to creating maps that detail lands that exist only in the imagination. This society, known only to a few, believes in the power of maps to inspire, challenge, and transcend the physical boundaries of our world. Their creations are intricate, and invite the viewer to travel to places untouched by the constraints of reality. This practice is not just an artistic endeavor, but a statement about the human capacity for imagination and the belief in possibilities beyond the tangible. The existence of this secret society and its imaginary cartography emphasizes a broader cultural appreciation of the unknown and unexplored, both in the world around us and in our minds. It serves as a reminder of the importance of imagination and curiosity, encouraging us to explore not only the world as it is, but also as it could be. In a landscape often dominated by the literal and the factual, the creators of Andorra's imagination maps encourage us to reflect on the value of dreams and the uncharted territories of our own creativity. Miniature Labyrinths In these times when modernity seems to overshadow tradition and material achievements are valued above spiritual well-being, can an ancient practice bring not only peace, but also good fortune into our lives? Imagine a tradition that combines the beauty of craftsmanship with the mysticism of ancient rituals, offering a path to harmony and prosperity. Andorra has such a tradition where households build miniature stone labyrinths, intricate in design and rich in symbolism. These are not just decorative ornaments. They are believed to attract good luck, guide positive energy, and protect against misfortune. The creation of these labyrinths is a meditative process, reflecting a combination of artistic expression and spiritual intent. 
Each turn of the labyrinth is believed to reflect the path of life, and its center is symbolic of finding prosperity and contentment. This custom is deeply rooted in the cultural fabric of Andorra, demonstrating reverence for the natural world and faith in its beneficial powers. This tradition emphasizes the Andorran ethical principle of harmony between the material and the spiritual, a tangible manifestation of society's desire for well-being. It reminds us of man's age-old desire to influence his own destiny, encouraging a connection with the ancient wisdoms that favor balance and prosperity. By building stone labyrinths, the Andorans weave together threads of art, nature, and spirituality, inviting us to reflect on the paths we take and the good fortune we seek. Whisper Night In a world filled with noise and chatter, where silence is rare and night is often ignored, could there be a holiday that honors silence and stillness? Imagine a tradition that invites people to let in the quiet sounds of the night, cultivating a sense of reverence and connection to the night world. Andorra hosts a fascinating event called Whisper Night, a celebration during which conversations are conducted solely in whispers. This annual celebration, held under the soft glow of moonlight, pays homage to the calmness of the night and the serenity it brings. Participants gather in parks, squares, and secluded places, holding quiet conversations that enhance the stillness of the evening. The quiet tones create an atmosphere of intimacy and shared reverence allowing participants to immerse themselves in deep contemplation of each other and the natural world. Whisper Night in Andorra serves as a poignant reminder of the beauty and power of silence in a world dominated by noise. It encourages a pause, a moment of reflection amidst the hustle and bustle of everyday life, inviting us to listen to the whispers of our hearts and the mysteries of the night. Through this tradition, Andorans create a space for introspection and communication, honoring the gentle rhythms of nature and the deep stillness that lives in each of us. Secret Ancient Ritual Have you ever wondered if there are ancient practices that offer comfort and hope in the midst of life's difficulties? Imagine a ritual that transcends time, where the simple act of making leaf boats becomes a beacon of renewal and positivity in the face of adversity. Deep in the cultural fabric of Andorra lies an ancient ritual steeped in symbolism and tradition. This ritual involves the making of elegant leaf boats, each one a vessel to carry away the burden of bad luck. When the boats are gently floated down rivers, they symbolize the release of negative energies and an invitation to a new beginning. This practice speaks to the resilience of the human spirit and faith in the transformative power of nature. This ancient ritual is a vivid reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always the possibility of renewal and hope. By embracing traditions that connect us to the natural world and the wisdom of our ancestors, we can find solace and strength to overcome life's challenges. In the serene waters of Andorra's rivers, leaf boats carry not only misfortune, but also the promise of brighter days ahead. Write the word ritual in the comment so everyone will know that you are good and have watched the video to the end. This was the last fact. Subscribe, put a like, and watch other videos on this channel.